Hey, how's it going, everybody? Michael back here again. And while the PlayStation scene has been a little slow over the last couple of weeks, there has been one thing that has come to my attention that I thought would be worth making a quick video here on the channel. And what that is, is, is that Idle Sauce has released a new version of his UMTX2 jailbreak for the PlayStation 5. Now, if we go over here and take a look at the commits and we go to performance improvements, what we can see right here is, is that it states that the clear function of the ROP, and ROP stands for Return Oriented Programming. Basically, this is a computer security exploit technique that allows an attacker to execute code in the presence of security defenses such as executable space protection and code signing, which is called every time after a chain is launched, is now using the set function with an already zeroed array. This is much faster. The latency of calls went from 6 milliseconds to 0 0.2 milliseconds. Also, not yielding before the UMTX destroy has improved, the success rate significantly, the exploit now often completes in 1 to 3 seconds, where before it was around 10 to 60 seconds. Now, there was a video that came out a couple of days ago, and what I did was I went ahead and gave a little bit of context on this because I really do believe it's a great time to have a jailbroken PS5, and especially with 5.x and 6.x game dumps. But if we come over here to this video and we just go ahead and let this thing play, you can see that it really doesn't take long. Now, this is a 5.50 system here, and wow, that is absolutely incredible. Okay, so you're probably wondering how do we go ahead and start using that. And what I always recommend is just coming over to the UMTX2 repo and then scrolling down a little bit here. And there's two versions of this site that's hosted. There is one that's on the Cloudflare pages and another one over here on GitHub. I typically just take this top one right here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on it and get that thing downloaded. Now let's go ahead and let's copy that over to a USB drive and let's give this a shot on our PlayStation 5. Okay, so over on my PlayStation 5, I am currently not jailbroken as you can see there. So I'm gonna go and manually run the first version of the jailbreak, which was just this one right here, which is umtx.pages.dev. Obviously the reason I need to run that one first is, is that I need to be able to install PKGs. So we're gonna go ahead and jailbreak and we're just gonna see what the difference is between these two. So again, here is the first version of it, umtx. Okay, and so as you saw, that took multiple attempts. So I just went ahead and got jailbroken where we could go ahead and get this thing installed. So I'm going to come back up to our settings. We're going to go debug settings, package installer, and right there is the umtx.pages.dev. So we're going to go ahead and get that installed there. And once you get it installed, you can just come over here to media and right there it is, it says UMTX2 jailbreak. And now you might have other ones on here, so this is another kind of good one that I've got, but just make sure that the one that you are running is the one that has this in the title bar. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have to reboot this system and then we'll give it a shot. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're back up and running again, and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect my controller here, and as you can see, Debug settings doesn't work there. And again, there is nothing down here at the bottom. This is a 4.03 system. I know some people ask about that. So that is what I am running. So we'll go ahead and press X on this. And let's just give it just a moment to download the new cache. Obviously, you only have to do that one time. So we'll just go ahead and let that finish up. Okay, and it does say to refresh to switch to the updated version. 
So you can just hit the option button as it shows down there at the bottom to get that to pop up. And then there is a reload option here. And now it'll show up to date. Obviously, you could just close it if you wanted to. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's run it. I won't be editing this part of it at all. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Wow. That was super, super, super fast. Okay, let's get ETA Hen running on this thing. Yeah, that is a game changer for me. Um, now, not having to deal with any of the you know, constant retries or anything like that, that's just making the PS5 just such a dominant scene, especially when it comes to the jailbreak and everything. So we'll come back over here to games. I'll go ahead and load up my items flow account here. Wow. Okay. Okay, that is uh, that is very good for the scene, and Idle Sauce is the goat yet again. So yeah, really, really, really cool stuff. Anyways, I thought I'd just pop in and make this video. Hopefully, you all enjoy it, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye bye.